You know that this is world race, and I don't put anything on for this. No, yeah, you need to be yourself completely. Welcome to the ultimate world race packing guide for all your essentials. This is Aaron, Caleb, and this is what we found out what we need on the world race. Our route went from Southeast Asia to middle of Africa, and now we are in Europe. Just a little disclaimer, this won't be everything you need in life, but this is what you need in life. First things first, bring a sleeping bag liner. You want one. Usually we go to really hot places, so you really don't want much. I think this is the number one thing that needs to be at the top of your list, the sleeping bag liner. Do not leave America without one because they're very impossible to find overseas. I've yes. only found them in one other country, and that wasn't even a country on our route. Yeah. So. <laughs> Don't leave home without it. Don't do it. You, you will it. want it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, next on the list is make sure you get the sleeping mat. This is home right here. This is where you sleep. Don't be cheap. You're back. You, you deserve to treat yourself. And this is one of those items you have to treat yourself with. When you go for tents, make sure you get a stuff sack. It's one of those things I never really knew you were supposed to do until I watched these packing vlogs. But yes, stuff it down. Speaking of stuff. You should also bring a pillow. Oh, yeah. Bring your pillow from home. This is actually not my original pillow. I left mine in Budapest a couple months ago. I almost cried. But you will want this. Which leads me to my next point. Pillow cases. I brought two and I did not regret it a single second. Because you use month, one for one month and then you know that you have a, a second one for the next. So mm. you alternate. It's so nice. Eye masks. <laughs> They're a thing and they are awesome. Yeah. Blankets. Oh yeah. You want one, mm -hmm. but don't bring one. Most likely you're traveling internationally in that first international flight. It's a good first steal. Yeah. Take the blanket and you're gonna use it. But you actually have to like, I hate to say this, but be sneaky about it because if the flight attendants see you with the blanket, they'll ask you to put it down. You're gonna want a blanket. You're gonna want a blanket. Bring clothes you actually wanna wear. Mm, such a complicated topic. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> you wanna look good, you wanna feel good, you wanna feel like a normal human being. But here's the thing that I heard over and over again before coming on the race, bring clothes that you're gonna wear that you usually wear back yeah, home. Right. For some reason, this was really very complicated for me to grasp. On that note, what are these called again? It's a packing cube, and that's mine that I gave you. Packing cubes. In month two. Yes. <laughs> you. This is the easiest way to pack your clothes up. Roll them up, put them in here, stuff them down. Yeah. Packing cubes. Shoes. Nikes. Burks. You. You're gonna want to. You're gonna want to run, and you're gonna want to actually have something that's close to that you can go hiking with, that you can walk around. You're gonna do a lot of walking. Yeah. It's gonna be a thing. Life-saving, um, my Burks here. Cause guess what? I brought Chacos, but I've only worn them like twice. I bought them right before the race. If you're not a Chaco person, there's no need to become a Chaco person to go in the world race. That is very, very valid. But the Burke, it's great, it's durable. You can dress it up or dress it down. You can go to church, have your fancy shoe. And I don't regret it at all. The sunglasses. Sunnies. It, it's warm outside, and the sun definitely gets in your eyes. Yeah. Bring a pair. But don't bring a nice pair, I would say. But are those your actual, are those real? Yeah, these are real. Really? Yeah. I brought these from home. Have you had those the whole race? I did. But I've also switched out the three other pairs. If you watch my videos before, you see me switch them out. Uh, Malaysia was great for buying sunglasses because they were like real Fabians. You're going to buy seven of them for like five dollars you actually will this is your fancy shirt <laughs> <laughs> at least this was my fancy shirt <laughs> yes, it still cool. is i don't know if i will ever wear this thing after the race but this the chambray i got this from target it was super cheap there's a lot of other girls on my squad that have the same one and uh -huh. if they didn't bring one they wish they had sports bras i brought five and not one time do i regret a single thing and I also brought one regular bra, and I'm actually dreading the time that I have to go home and wear them again. So, <laughs> so sports bras are where it's at. Bring them, don't be shy about it. 
Yoga pants? Yogas. Bring, yes. You will wear them, you will want them. On travel days, yes, 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 yes. Speaking of travel days, the travel sweater is a real thing. Mm -hmm. um, air, airports are cold yeah. and so are airplanes. And it's nice to have something kind of small that you can just throw on real quick and not be worried about shivering. Bring a rain jacket. Don't leave America without one. Make sure it's actually waterproof. Water North Face. Columbia. Columbia. You can pack them down. You can stuff them somewhere. They are amazing. And I have worn it every single month. Watch. Make sure you bring a watch. You don't want to be that person. Watches are... My watch broke. Oh, by the way, I have a uh, list of all these things in the description box. So you can go ahead and go down there, click on what you want, and buy it right then and there. I've made it easy for you. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, do the thing you do. Back to the show. Whoop. Pens. Pens are like gold out on the field. I just, you're gonna lose them. People are gonna steal them. Yeah. And you wanna, also, you can find lots of things overseas. Yeah. Like that's kind of a misconception that you need to have everything here. This is why this is our essential ultimate packing list. Bring one journal. You only need one because you're gonna wanna buy some overseas. All your friends are gonna do it. They're gonna be super cute and you're gonna wanna buy some overseas. So please, you only need to bring one. Yeah, I just bought two. And I love them. Bring your phone. Bring your phone. Mm -hmm. Just for the fact of like being able to contact home and getting Wi-Fi every now and again and... Directions. Directions. Mm -hmm. Maps.me, it's a thing. You'll wanna have it. Yeah. Maps are crucial. I can't imagine living in an age without technology like this. Yeah. On the same note here, deodorant. If you want antiperspirant, smelly, awesome smelly deodorant, bring some from home. I brought five and I have not regretted it. They're all open and I haven't even finished one of them yet. But it's nice. It's nice to know that you always have it. And it's nice to put one deodorant in each bag that you have. Yes. Because there's gonna be times where you can't access your big pack and, and you only have your day pack and you are gonna praise the Lord for having that one stick of deodorant in there. Men, you're gonna wanna shave. Because again, remember we're human beings here. Uh, I brought this from home. It's like a little $12 electric razor. Uh, battery operated, you can find batteries everywhere. Every guy um, on my squad has used this razor. And we even shaved Laura's head with it. And I got multiple haircuts with it. Yeah. It's a thing, bring one. Um, for Breeze to go, this has been one of my favorite things that I have received. Um, I didn't leave America with Febreze to go, but my amazing squad leader brought some for me and it's been life changing because your stuff is going to smell. Yeah. And you live with a lot of people Yeah. and you're going to want some smell good, which goes along with body spray as well. Girls don't leave home without body spray either. Also nail clippers. Don't rely on other people. Bring your own. Same with tweezers. Women at least, bring tweezers. You're gonna want them. People around you will want them. Just bring your own. Which goes along with face scrub. Exfoliator for your face. I highly recommend you bring that too because you get to a point where your face just feels meh. <laughs> uh, vitamins, I brought emergency vitamin C. As soon as you get a little bit sick, I just take a bunch of these. Uh, melatonin for sleeping because travel days you're gonna want to sleep mm -hmm. and you're gonna want to like just knock out and that's the best natural thing for you and probiotics for you for your belly because yeah. your belly is gonna go through weird things really strange things brain probiotics I didn't take them but now I take them that and flaxseed oil pills if you like extra digestion it's gonna be great cups I bought this at my training camp mm -hmm. um, for five doll hairs. You're gonna drink coffee every single month. So you wanna have a cup. Also on that note, carabiners, okay? Uh, bring a lot. Speaking of things you actually need, uh, power converters, okay? Yeah, power converters, bring your own. Don't rely on other people. Power strip, this one's kind of big, but I can also do USB and with other ones, again, bring your own. Because then if you have multiple, you can just like have a train of them. Mm -hmm. I also recommend bringing a power bank. This is when you are on the bus 
for 32 hours <laughs> and you have no plug. And this thing is gonna save your life because it charges your phone and all your things. And those are important. You'll wanna bring one, you're gonna wanna share with people, you share books with people. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna read all Christian books or deep books anyway. You want light reading. You really do, you want your brain to turn off. Every Again, day. people, this is real life. It's normal. It's normal. Headphones. Bring them. I brought five pair of headphones and I'm now on my last pair. They're gonna disappear, they're gonna stop working, you're not gonna know where you put them, and you don't wanna buy them overseas. Just buy, buy five of the little ones, buy them on Amazon, bring them with you, and also mark them. Mark all of your electronics. Um, Haley did this on our squad, and yeah. I know whenever I have something of hers. Yeah. So I have to give it back, I'm obligated. Headlamp, bring one. Yes. Also dudes, you should get a Leatherman because it's just so handy to have a knife every now and again just to open things up. That's our official ultimate world race packing blog. Yep. Blog, this thing. This is the essentials you need, but then again, we read like 20 million of these before we set out in the world race and, and none of them helped. Million. And none of them helped. Nope. So, with discretion, this is what we use. 110, Albania, the world race, 2017. Yeah. Catch you on the flip side. Bye.